Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you once again, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are back in the world of Beach Club Simulator 2024, getting ready for some more fun here. Uh, this game was patched on Tuesday the 26th, so since the last time that we played it, and it looks like a couple things that they put in this patch. Uh, one of the big things that they put in here is that they increased the waiter's work speed. So apparently the waiter was kind of slow. I guess I never noticed it all that much, um, but uh, they've sped him up, so he's he's got a little more pep in his step. Um, they've also uh, fixed the stock, whatever that was. Um, they also balanced the economy. The can bar fills up when you're sleeping. I don't know what the can bar is. And uh, there was an issue that they fixed with the NPC getting stuck. I'm guessing that that's the delivery man that got stuck on the woman who, who kept on pushing him backwards. They also put in a microphone announcement system. So those look like there were some of the things, as well as other bugs fixed and the ever-present optimization. So let's hop on in and let's see what we've got going on now in our little world of the beach. So when we last left off, um, I also did receive a tip from somebody, and I believe it was in one of my, I think it was a comment that someone left, and I can't remember who was left the comment, so I, I'm sorry that I don't remember who you are, but I thank you for leaving me the comment. Uh, basically, the comment being that you can basically jack up all the prices to like full tilt, and everyone will gladly pay them. So with that being the case, we might as well jack up all the prices to full tilt if everyone's going to willingly pay them. So let's go into here. And we're going to go into our phone, and we're just going to make everything super duper mega crazy expensive because we can, because everyone wants to be at the beach. Uh, my name is Adam Seawalker. So we're just going to do that, and we're going to make everything crazy expensive because why not? Um, we're also going to go into here, and we're going to make all this. I'm going to, I'll actually put this like in the midpoints here. So we're just going to put all this at a midpoint because uh, we'll, we'll charge them like crazy to come into the beach club, but we'll give them cheap food and drinks. That somehow makes sense, doesn't it? I, I don't know. I mean, it's a $26 hot dog and a $48 hamburger. I mean, that, that sounds good. Uh, some So it's a $58 for salmon and $26 for a hot dog. Uh, that, that, that makes sense in some work in world. And $64 for breakfast. Um, man, I don't know why anyone would come to this beach, but hey. Uh, $17 for a beer and $14 for apple juice. <laughs> I love some of these prices. These are really, really good. Um, $23 for a coffee, $48 for Rocky. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got some gin for $41, a soda for $13. Uh, vodka is going to be $44. Water is going to be $17, $16. Don't get thirsty, whatever you do. And we're going to 50 bucks for wine and 60 for whiskey. There we go. Everything's going to be nice and expensive, and it's going to cost $230 for someone to walk into the beach club. And we need to open it up, so let's get over there. I do believe our bodyguard is standing by, so we will uh, get this closed up and that we will get taken care of. Eventually, I'm going to have to get some food. I might as well go over here and get some food while I'm at it. So let's do this. Stop by this guy. How you doing, sir? Uh, I would like some of your food. That will only cost me $7. I think I can avoid. I think I can afford that. I also need to get something to drink, and I can do that here, and that will cost me $2. And can I get a little more? Yeah, perfect. I am now satiated, and that is important. So let us make our way back to our beach where everyone is gladly going to spend tons of money to, <laughs> to pay us to come into our beach. I also want to check out our, our perks because there were apparently more perks that we could get. So if we look here, I think it was under growth and under skills. So we can apparently scroll down... And that's the thing, because I was trying to... Oh, I see. So it depends on where you're scrolling. That's because if you scroll in certain places, the things... So I wonder how you can exactly do this. Because when I was trying to scroll down, it's not really working because it, it gets stuck on the item. So I wonder if I can do it with like my keyboard. Uh, no, I'm assuming that there's an easier way to do this, and I just don't know what it is. So maybe we got to go this way and get it no there, there's there's something about it that is making this challenging oh i can just drag it okay so let's just drag it apparently and that will work uh, or sometimes it will work i yeah this is very very tricky 
because it's like you've got to hit a proper hitbox in order to do this. So you can boost your flirting skills. We can get a less polluted breach. I don't know what this thing is because I can't see it because I can't get down there. Oh, wait. A reducing mafia visits, a boosting my lunk in gambling and auctions. And what do we got here? Again, you got to like click on just the right thing and then it will it will move. Uh, attract more customers to your beach. Well, we definitely want more customers, but I guess I can't get that. Oh, can I take one of these off? Uh, I think I already put it on, so there's nothing we can do now. So let's get rid of our phone, and because I don't want this person to die. So let's get rid of our phone. Put your phone away, Rusty. Rusty, put your phone away. Why are you not able to put your phone away now? Um, there we go. Uh, where's the drowning person? Are you over here? There you are, because they always drown by the rock. They can always grab the rock, but they always drown right by the rock. I don't understand. Um, oh, I went right through you. Okay, let's bring you in. Why do you guys always drown? And can we get a lifeguard at some point? Because that would really be nice if we get a lifeguard. That would make life a lot easier if we get a lifeguard and not have to deal with all you people drowning. I mean, it's not that I mind you drowning. Um, it would just be nice if someone else took care of it. So, I mean, I'm so picky here at the Rusty Chair. Okay, we got another one that's about to drown. Are you over there? No, you're way over here. Of course you would be on the other side, because why wouldn't you? Uh, sir, uh, let us rescue you. Let's bring you in and get you all taken care of. Um, and then you will be all, all fine. Down you go. Let's get all the water out of your face. And you are now all good. I made a difference. Thank you. I'm so glad I can make a difference. The bodyguard is doing a wonderful job keeping all, everyone taken care of. Yeah, that guy is moving. He is hauling now. So, yeah, he is cooking. That, that's good to see. So they definitely did speed up the waiter. He definitely has a lot of spring going on there. Okay, so let's take a look. I have not done my metal detecting yet. So let's go in here. Let's grab our metal detector. And let's see what we've got in here today that we can then go ahead and sell. What's it going to be? Uh, it's way over here. Uh, it's right at our feet. Uh, what do we got? Ooh. I don't think I've had this before. So let's take a look at this. Let's run back to the shore. Um, of course, someone else is in danger of dying. So let's take care of the person who's in danger of dying. And you're over here again. Um, yeah. <laughs> It makes it so difficult when you've always got to take care of all the dying people. <laughs> First world problems at work here. All right, let's get you taken care of. All the water, all out. There you go. Is there an employee that I can get that's going to help me out with this? Let's take a look. So if we go back here, let's go to employees. So let's go to my beach. Let's go to employees. Um, no, it's just waiters. So I guess I could get another waiter uh, just for the fun of it. Oh, I can only hire him outside working hours. Okay, so let's put our phone away again. And let's go save another person who's drowning. There's got to be a perk that we can get that's like going to keep people from drowning. Because that's like the biggest, <laughs> that's the biggest bane of my existence right now is all the people that are drowning. Uh, so I'd like to get a perk that makes people better swimmers when they come to my beach. I don't think that's too much to ask. And maybe it would cut down on our tips, but honestly, I'd rather not have to keep on running out and having people get saved just while I'm <laughs> trying to get things done around here. So actually, let's go back in here. So let's take a look at this. Let's go back to here. And let's see, um, do I have any invoices to pay? No. So we're good there. Um, growth. Let's go to our skills. Can I fix this? And again, if you do this, I'm going to go to my controls. So let's go to here to, let's see, settings. And is there a controls? Um, there's controller. So it doesn't show me anything about settings here. So let's go here. Uh, controller. Oh, so that's that. Um, so radial menu. Okay, that's what I knew. Um, so left shift run, left click attack with the stick, and space is the handbrake in the car. So, yeah, that unfortunately doesn't help me out either. I was hoping it might, but no dice. So, okay, so attract more customers to my beach and a less polluted beach. And now we got to find the proper spot on here to drag again. We will eventually get it. Um, enhanced car control, so we got Shark Hunter. We're going to keep going down. Eventually, I will find the place where I can drag. 
Okay, so there's just those options. Um, hmm. And the okay, so the ones that I've got selected, if I okay, so if I drag, uh, <laughs> this is so frustrating. Uh, and again, I'm sure I might be doing something wrong, but I just it's so strange. Okay, don't open a venue you can't manage. The quality of the people inside is very low. That is rather snooty of you. Um, employees seem like they've escaped from an action movie. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, well, he gets there fast. What do you want? And we will, now we'll close this up. Oh, we can trade this thing. What do we have to trade? Oh, 12,000? Oh, for this Mesopotamian ruin, we're, we're pushing that all the way up. Give us all the money for the ruin. Someone's going to want it. Yeah, there we go. You know you want a ruin for Mesopotamia. Bring it on. And we have not had anyone die here recently. Oh, this is going to give us a ton of money. Tons and tons of money. Perfect. We like this. So let's get this done. There we go. Sell you all the cash. Now we're going to go into here and let us. Uh, so now can we go? I, I'm going to go. I'm going to try this again. We're going to try once again to go in here and see if we can do something with our growth and with our skills. Because I want to see, can we, is there a way to reset these? It does not appear as if there is. So we're just kind of stuck with what we've got. So that's fewer shark encounters. I don't know what enhanced car control is because we don't have a car. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, this is just, again, so it's like it's grabbing right in the, there we go. Do we have to grab outside of the phone or on the edge of the phone? Man, it's so picky. I'm sure someone's got the answer to this, and I just don't know what it is. Um, but the next one I want is definitely more customers to the beach. And why are you here? There's not even anyone here. Um, where's my bodyguard? And why am I dancing? How did you get past the bodyguard? You, get out of here. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm not even worried if you fall. In, no, that's mean to me. I can't say that. I can't say I'm not even worried. Dude, the peeper just walked by you. What, what, what were you looking at? I mean, were you checking out your abs or what was it? I mean, are you tired? Do you need to sit somewhere? Uh, I don't know. Good help is so hard to find. Okay, let us go to bed. All you guys like you. I'm, I'm going to just hit you out of principle. Uh, there you go. That was a delayed hit, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so we can create. I've never done this. I can create an event for $5,000. What would that do? Um, do I, to increase the popularity of a beach, you, you can organize evening events. For this, you must purchase speakers and music. I don't have speakers. I don't have music. So we're not going to worry about that right now because I'm missing both of those key essentials in order to take care of that. You sitting back here away from the desk, smiling like some frat boy, always makes me scratch my head because you look like you're just like you just did something really bad and you're waiting to see if anybody noticed and you're going to laugh about it. Um, I don't know about you, guy, but you do you. Let's go in here. Let's get some sleep. We're going to shake off another day's fatigue because it is so fatiguing doing what we do. So we are going to do that. I'm going to go in here. I'm a little bit stinky, so I am going to take a shower. We're going to do that. I'm going to probably hold off on the other thing. Um, I did. I put myself. I put myself behind the door. That's always good. That shower looks like it needs a serious cleaning. I don't know why that shower is as dirty as it is, and I don't know who we need to get in order to get it maybe cleaned up a little bit, but hey, not going to worry about it. Um, Bathroom-wise, I'm still doing good. I'm not going to go there. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to wait until I'm ready to burst, and then we'll maybe take care of that, because the less of that, the better. I know I'm a fuddy-duddy. Uh, you can let me know. That's fine. Treasure hunt has started. Let us make our way to the treasure hunt, and let's see what we got. Are, are you ready? Are you going to actually do stuff today? Okay, perfect. Let's grab our metal detector. So we got $39,000. We got all kinds of cash. And our treasure is over this way today. So how far out is it? Um, man, is it out by the shark? It, oh, wait. Now it's down at our feet. Where are you? There you are. Oh, and what are you? You are whatever you are. You're kind of cool looking. So let's hop on in here, and let's go here. Uh, let's get the beach open, because it is 8 o'clock. The beach is open. 
The Rusty Chair is open for your convenience. And sale by auction. Oh, it's just a bronze bottle. Okay. Sell that for 700 I was hoping it was going to be something fancier than that, but apparently not. And can I close? I can't close my phone while this is going on. So it would be nice if you could close your phone while this is going on, but alas, you cannot. And then the other question becomes, I don't remember how we level up. Because I'm trying to remember how we get from level 5 to level 6. I don't know if we just have to deal with enough customers and then we get there. So if I go back here and if I look at this, my beach, because um, it doesn't show me what level I am, at least not from here. So I, I know that there's a way that it happens. I just don't know what it is. So we're just going to keep on going with this and see what we got. So the Oh, someone's actually saying the entrance fee is too expensive. So, okay. So that's going to give us a little less popularity. So I guess I can actually go ahead and drop this a little bit. We'll, we'll make it 200. There you go. Oh, gosh. Here we go again. Another person drowning again. I need to put up a sign saying you must be able to swim before you're, you're like over the water. <laughs> I got to put up a sign saying that if you can't swim, you can't go in the water. It's just that easy because I, I refuse to believe that we have that stronger riptides around here. That just cannot possibly be the case. I'm just not seeing that as a as a possibility. OK, so what can we do? Uh, we can I guess we can get some stuff. I know they were talking about having some music. So if we look at the map, so there's a, oh, there's all this stuff. I've never actually looked at the map. So street food, our beach, the hostel, the casino, the car dealer, the market. Huh. I wonder what's at the market and the mansion. Okay. Huh. I never knew there was a market here. It's amazing what you find out when you look at your map. And this is, oh, that's just our, our thing to take selfies. And we don't need to worry about taking selfies. So let's see. Uh, we can get some. Uh, we can get some music out here. So let's see our machines. So we can get a speaker because we got plenty of money now. So let's get a. Uh, we can get a. We can get a couple of fancy speakers. So let's do that. Let's get a couple of fancy speakers just for the fun of it. Because we got the money and we can get in automats. So let's do that. Let's spend all the cash that we've got. And get all that. So our delivery guy should be here. And then we'll have some tunes going. People can buy some drinks or whatnot. I'm going to grab my metal detector for reasons that are completely unknown to everybody. And we're going to just keep going. There we go. There's our delivery guy. All good. So let us take this. What do we got here? We've got the automat. So we're going to take that. I'm going to set it up right here next to, can I set it here? Uh, no, where can we set the automat? Um, do we have to set it like right out in the middle of everything. Uh, we're going to set the automat over here where there's no power. So we're going to set it there uh, because that makes perfect sense. So we'll put it here. That seems like it's logical. So we're going to set it there. There we go. So we got an automat for people to buy things. Um, oh, if you hit edit, that picks it up. That's not what we want. So let's place that back down again. And so now if we if we get rid of that, now can we edit it? No. So that's just going to stay there and float. And people are going to do something there. Uh, how much money is that going to make us? I wonder. Well, at least she's drinking something. So I know that we got something going on there. Um, you're celebrating with a tip. So it was fun taking something out of the automat. And I'm going to celebrate with a tip. That is nice. Uh, medium Herman speaker. We will put that. Oh, whoa. Dance area. Oh, so we can have some dancing. Okay. So we'll uh, have people that can dance here. But, of course, then we have people that are going to drown. So, and we've got the, oh, we got to get rid of the shark. Uh, where's the shark? Uh, let's get the stick and get rid of the shark because you are dangerously close. Uh, you, get out of here. Uh, you keep running. You keep running. I'm going to hit you with the stick. I don't care if i got someone who's going to drown. I'm going to follow you and hit you with the stick because I felt like it. Now, where's the person who was drowning? Um, where'd you go? Are you over by the rocks? Oh, you're way over there. You were supposed to be by the shark, dude. I mean, come on. If you're going to drown, do it by the shark. I, I'll be there in a minute. Just just hang on. Just grab the rock. It can't be that. It, oh, gosh. That's going to hurt my reputation. Um, and well, it's just an occasional drowning. It's okay. At least you didn't get eaten by a shark. So, I mean, we got that going on. All right, so we got some music. 
I think. So can we turn this on? Is it, uh, what do we need to do? Do we need something that actually plays music? Perhaps that's it. So we're going to grab this and maybe set it uh, here. So we'll have a couple of different dance areas, maybe. I'm, I'm making it up as I go along. So we're going to put a dance area right over here. There we go. So we got a couple of different places that people can dance. I don't know if we need something that will play the music. So let's go back to the shopping. And there's speakers. There's a foam machine. Ooh, look at that. Um, so all these speakers. Uh, we got some decorations. We got some pergolas. Um, we got oh our food. Oh, I should probably check on our food and drink. So let's see, how, how are we doing on stock? We're kind of trying to keep everything at 10. So let's do all of these, get all these back up to 10. There we go. And we can only order 10 things at a time. So we got to do this like this. Starting to get dark. All right, so we're, we're in pretty good shape here. So we're not really running out of anything, but we're going to get all these back up to 10. So four of you, two of you, and two of you, because that's all we can do. And then we're going to keep going down. One of you, four of you, and three of you. And we'll get all that ordered. Now we'll go to the drinks. How are we doing on drinks? Uh, oh, man, everyone's been stocking up on the beer. So let's get all the beer. And we need one more beer, uh, three more colas, uh, four more champagnes. Everyone loves the coffee. So let's get the coffee. We need four more of those, four more Rocky. I haven't ordered these, but I guess I might as well. So let's go ahead and get that. Um, and we'll get uh, another eight of you. There we go. And a few more gin, a few more soda, and a few more vodka. I don't even know what's going on at the place. I'm just sitting here ordering stuff on my phone. You can tell how much attention I'm paying to my beach uh, because I'm sitting here on my phone. Meanwhile, as the sun goes down, it's, it's, just, it's, it's a perfectly normal thing. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we got enough. There we go. All the money's been spent on all the stuff. The beach is getting ready to close. We are going to go and grab our tips from our tip box. So, oh man, all the tips. Wow. I like this. Uh, thank you for all the tip money. That is good. Uh, there we go. So now we got that. That is good. Are you actually going to go and get something from the automat? It looks like you... Nope. You were thinking about it, and now you're going away. So I can understand that. That does make sense. I think now I should probably get another employee. So let's do that. And let's take a look at our growth. Let's take a look at our popularity. Um, a strange experience. I do not recommend it. These beers feel like they come from a forgotten century. I feel like I'd boarded a time machine. Well, that's the beer that we got, so I don't know what to tell you. The beach sand should have been softer. Yeah, well, I don't know where you expect me to get sand from. Okay, so here, Magnet 1. We want more customers. More customers is more money. More money is good stuff. There we go. We're going to get that. That's good. I'm going to go to employees. Let us hire you because you have no energy. So we're going to hire you, Wally Whisker staff, and you're going to be our waiter. And we will have you on our staff. So now we got two of you. I still don't know what we're supposed to do with you at all. Uh, you are like really kind of blah. Let's increase your salary a little bit. Maybe that'll make you better. Can we increase it again? And maybe one more time? And what happens if we increase it again? Nothing. Okay, so it doesn't do anything for your energy or communication. It's just um, your motivation. And uh, Sam, why are you not motivated? I mean, you're like the dancing machine. Okay, there. Now you're motivated. Everything's good. And, oh, it's going to cost $200 to increase your salary. You can stay as unmotivated as you want. I mean, when it comes time, we're going to just can you and find a new one. Um, oh, I didn't tell you that. Okay, the VIP fees. Okay, so that can go up. So apparently as you go up in levels, maybe you go up in what you can charge. I'm guessing, maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along, which is typical for me. And then I hit an escape key that I don't need. And then I grab my hammer. And then we go home. Um, you just stay here. Uh, you know, you can leave. That is allowed. You don't have to stay here. You, you can leave. I'm still going to try and figure out how to operate these speakers. Because all I know now is I have a dance area. 
and nobody's dancing. So I wonder if I need a floor. We'll try that tomorrow. See if maybe I need a floor and maybe that will take care of it. Because right now I've got I've got speakers and you again, you're a goofy looking dude. And you're gonna just tell me the same thing. Yeah, I can stay in the hustle for a daily fee until you own a house. And you're just like <laughs> I just did something. Let's see if they find it. Um I'm telling you, you're the goofiest looking dude known to mankind. Let's go to bed because it seems like the thing to do. I will once again shake off the day's fatigue because I am extremely fatigued from this job. Back out we go. I don't have anything in this armoire. I can't even open it. It's a fake armoire. It's just, it's a ruse. I don't know why they would do such a thing. They should not put an armoire in my room that I cannot open. That just is false hope, and we don't need that. So let's go back to our beach, and let's see. What can we do? Uh, you. Uh, again, you're standing right here by the bodyguard. Just get. I, I mean, you're just, you're just asking for it, man. Okay. Uh, I'm mean to that guy. I know it. It's okay. And let's go here. Uh, treasure hunt has started. So that's decorations, machines, uh, showers, toilets. I guess at some point I should probably put in a toilet or something. Or maybe a shower. But <laughs> I'll worry about that another time. Bars? Ooh, that's fancy. Um, maybe tables, chairs. Uh, let's see. Uh, floors, that's what I want. So let's get some floors. So let's get a... Um, what kind of floor do we want? I don't want to get anything fancy. I'm just going to go with a square laminate floor. Let's see what a square laminate floor is going to look like. We'll go with this. Do we get the uh, the uh, the pebbly? Let's get the pebbly because it's funny to say <laughs> pebbly, um, and we'll see what happens with that. So we're going to need to get a square pebbly and see what that gets us because I really have no idea. Um, what time is it? Eight o'clock. We should probably get the beach open because that's how we make money. Let's jack that up to two ten. Just ten bucks. Let's see if anybody notices. It's just the slow burn of inflation. So we're going to go here. Let us grab our metal detector that we always mean to not grab. And in this case, we actually want it this time. And let's see what we got. Why is it that the things are never on shore? And those are just binoculars. Those aren't worth a lot of money, if I remember right. From the last time I had these, I'm pretty sure that those are just kind of cheap stuff. But we shall see. Let's see what we got here. So if I go here to the mobile phone, if we go to the trader, uh, sale by auction... Yeah, those aren't worth hardly anything. So we're going to jack that all the way up to 250 and see if anyone's going to bite on it. Yep, I knew someone would. So there we go. A fool and their money are soon parted. And in this case, they're going to be parted for $290 for a set of antique binoculars that may or may not work. Um, but hey, they're antique, and that's the only thing that matters. Sell. Okay, so now if we look here, uh, close our phone. So what does our square pebbly look like? How much is this? How much are we getting for a square pebbly? Uh, literally one spot. So this is going to be like the smallest dance floor known to mankind. Uh, so we're going to set that right here. So we're going to place that there. So I guess I can get like um, eight more of those. So we'll get eight more of those. And hopefully those things are going to connect to each other. Because otherwise that's going to be kind of silly. So let's find out. We're going to get eight more of these. So eight more square pebblies. And let's see what we got here for a dance floor if we do this. So we're, we're doing pretty good on money. So I'm not really worried about that. I mean, because, again, people are willing to pay whatever to get in here. Because maybe this is like the only beach club there is. I see him again. So he's even in the corner of my eye, I see him. So he's just got to go. I love the way that this guy drops everything off. And you look a lot like the guy who's at the front desk of the hostel. I, I wonder about you. Okay, so, oh, okay, so that does snap. Or does it? Can it? Let's see. Uh, will it? It doesn't quite. So, yeah, that doesn't quite. Oh, and, of course, someone's dying. Just another day where someone's dying. Oh, man, again, the, it's all the demands of owning your own beach club. You got these people that can't swim. Uh, Ma'am, 
Or let's get you out. It probably doesn't help that you're like in your regular clothes, and that might be why you're dying uh, or drowning. So there you go. <gasps> May we recommend next time that you don't wear your shirt and your your dress when you go on the beach. So that, that's just uh, that's just a thought. So now the question is, can we if we go here, can we pick this up? Okay, so that does. All right, so that does go into place. All right, so let's see. If we do this again, if we set this here, will it go into place? It, it does. Okay, all right. So we're going to set a, at least a few of these up, and we're going to see if we can get ourselves a nice little dance floor going. And then we'll see if anyone actually wants to dance because I still got to figure out how to entice people to dance to begin with because this is the dance area, but no one's dancing. So the question becomes, what is it going to take to make them dance? Um, is this like Footloose where dancing is not allowed? Or what is it? Is John Lithgow going to jump out and be like, there will be no dancing? Um, I don't know. I don't even know if John Lithgow actually said that in the movie. I'm, I'm going to assume that he did not. But hey, you never know. It's a good movie, though. Uh, um, Kevin Bacon, let's dance. Okay, let's put away our hammer. And let's see, uh, how do we make you work? What do we have to do? I've got this. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, can I hit you with my hammer? Probably not a good idea. Can I hit you with my stick? Probably not a good idea. Uh, do we need something else? I'm assuming we need something that actually like makes music. Or do we have to go here? Oh, you have to, you have to purchase it. Oh, that's right. I remember this now. You got to purchase the music. So there we go. All right, let's let's get some music in this joint. Uh, let's go with the cheap one. So we'll go with Chronicles of Ether, and we'll see if that get it gets anyone to dance. Probably not, but we'll turn it on, and then uh, we'll we'll also get Cyberpunk, and we'll get the Chunky Bear dance. So we'll spend a thousand dollars on music. That seems fair. So then, if we go to my music, we're going to turn it on. Oh my goodness! Um, is there a way that we can turn this music down? Because this is too loud. Uh, let's go to here. Let's go to our settings because we don't need this music this loud. Um, so let's go to settings. Uh, uh, is there a way to turn that down? Volume. Just overall volume. Get down. Unfortunately, there's not a setting for different kinds of volume. So it just kind of... You have volume general and that's it. And is that going to be any better? I might have to turn that song off because I'm really not liking that at all. I may just have to <laughs> give up on the music entirely. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, you go away. Let's try the Chunky Bear dance. That's a little bit better. A smidge. And let's see if anyone actually starts dancing. Because if no one starts dancing, then there's no point to this. So we're just going to set this here. We're going to see if anyone dances. If nothing else, we got a cool groove. So I'm going to sell this speaker because I don't need this. So we're just going to get rid of that. Go away, because we don't need you. So, oh, I see. That's why it was so loud. It's because it was playing in both places. But again, if no one dances here. Oh, wait, there we go. She's going. And she's, oh, my goodness. Look at that twerk. I don't know if I can show that on this channel. Um, we're going to go. Where's the one who's dying? Um, I got distracted by the twerk. So we're going to go over here. Um, you're way over here. And we'll get you taken care of. Can I scan you and sell you? No, I don't think I can. Um, so we're just going to put you here. We've had a significantly less number of people trying to die today. So we got that. Uh, look at that dude getting his thing on. Um, I'm kind of scared. Let's see. Yeah, everyone is really getting at it now. Okay. All right. Well, this is worth something. Um, uh, I love the moves, man. So then the question becomes, what else can we get to like liven up this party? Can we get some, I think we get some, maybe some lights. Let's see, were there, was there the ability for lights? Uh, lights! Let's see, decorations. A little tiny to take a look. That's uh, just a bunch of cushions and whatnot. Bins. Oh, lights. Okay, so we can get some lights. All right, so we'll get a few of these then, I guess. Why not? Let's get some square lights. We'll get four square lights. And we'll buy those, spending all the money frivolously, because we do like frivolous spending. 
And then I'll hit the escape key because I can't. All right. Uh, so now I guess I can go to my music, turn my music off because we don't really need that now. There we go. Music off. And let us go grab our tips. See what we got for tips for the day. Oh, man. Lots of tips. Look at all these big tips. We do like that. And I don't know why we got such big tips, but we do. And there was a tip that fell on the ground. Is it just gone? Oh, it, oh, there it is. I found it. It was in there. Oh, and here's our lights. Perfect. Let's see what we got. Uh, how fancy. Ooh, look at those. Those are fancy. Going to drop these right in here. Let's see if we can get them kind of on the, on the crease. So we're going to set them right on the crease here. Or right on the, the four corners. Uh, how close can we get it? Right about there. There's a, oh, uh, E. That's what we want is E. No, that's not what we want. Um, place. No, nope, that's not right. Uh, I want to I want to try and at least get it where it's facing the right direction. That's going to probably be close enough, and we're just going to set it down. Uh, place it. Place it. Why are you not going down? Why are you not going down? Okay, so maybe you just got to be in other spots. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, so we're going to set you over here, and there we go. Wow, those lights are kind of psychedelic. And, okay, so they're not going to be quite where we want them, but they're going to be close enough, and that's going to be good because if nothing else, it's going to make everyone go dancing like crazy here, and that's what we want. So, all right, uh, turn, and where can we set you? Why? It's, it's just another one of these things where it's, like, really, really tricky to try and get this place. Yeah, apparently it is. You've got, like, one pixel where you can set these up. All right, let's put one more here. And can we get you turned just a little bit? There we go. And then the question becomes, where can we set you? Clicking like mad to try and find a place to put you. There you go. That is good enough. Uh, we should probably get some sleep. And can I hit you with a hammer? No. Doggone it. I really wish I could. We'll just hit you with a stick instead. <laughs> you got to give the guy a good beat down before you go to bed. I mean, well, you don't. And I don't really, I don't really recommend that. Um, hey, we're we're somewhere off of I-95 and off of the 10. How about that? I didn't realize that. So if we were on 95 and the 10, where would that put us? That feels like we're up near Jacksonville? No, we'd be further east. I don't know. Huh. All my Florida peeps, let me know where we'd be if we were for 95 and the 10. Because that feels like it's like in the panhandle or in the northern part of Florida. Certainly not the southern part. Because I thought that the 10 was like in the northern part of Florida. Um, I'm not great with my geography, but I think I know that much. I could be. Uh, anyway, enough about geography. Let's go to bed. And we will shake off one more day's fatigue. I'm going to probably have to get up and use the bathroom. I think I put it off long enough. So let's go do the thing. Again, look at that shower. It's got like all the mold and mildew stains in there and all the rust stains. Have these guys not heard of CLR before? I mean, they can. We can probably get a bottle and then just give this thing a nice, nice little cleaning. I don't even know if that's something that like a, a Mister Clean Magic Eraser would take care of. Uh, probably not. Okay, we're we're gonna have to do the thing. So just kind of turn your eyes and don't look at this because it's just not really all that funny. But hey, they they thought it was good for a joke. Let's just. Uh, there we go. All right, you guys are funny. Ha ha. All right. Um, back to the treasure hunt. Let's see what we're going to get today for the treasure hunt. Run out. We don't have to close the hostel door. They don't really care. Um, uh, this bodyguard never leaves. He just stays here and flexes and looks up at, I hope not the sun, um, because that's bad for your eyes, dude. Don't do that. And we're going to go here. These lights apparently stay on the entire time. And we're going to turn on the music because we can't. So we're going to go to Stoife. I'm going to go back to the Chunky Bear Dance because that seemed kind of cool. And then we're going to wait a few minutes and open up the beach once it gets to 8 o'clock. So, and apparently this just keeps going up every day. All right. So, 8 o'clock, the beach is open. The rusty chair is open for your convenience. At some point, I should probably put down more deck chairs. Um, but instead, I'm busy doing all this other stuff. So, we will eventually get more deck chairs out. I just don't know when. Um, okay, what do we have here? Uh, this is a, uh, a horn of sorts. Hopefully it's worth something. We shall see in just a moment. So let us head back to the shore, grab our phone. 
Hope that we can do this before someone decides they want to drown again. Ooh, an antique megaphone. Six Gs. Someone will want that. So let's see. Who's going to want that? All right, lady that just walked by me, don't go drowning while I'm doing my auction. Just give me 10 seconds before you drown. That's all I'm asking. Oh, yeah, everyone wants this megaphone. Again, it's antique. Everyone loves an antique. 11000 Wow, look at that. Raking in all the cash. Sell that bad boy. And let us go back here. And let's see, what else can we do? We should probably do some shopping. So uh, what do we want to do? So this is all decorations. Uh, we could do a fire pit. Ooh. Could have a fancy fire pit. Let's do a fancy fire pit. I'm all about that. So let's do that. The nice thing is that they don't charge you for... Um, for uh, What am I trying to say? They don't charge you for shipping. So you can get whatever you want. And they don't charge you. So I'll also get a garbage can. Because it, it works. So we'll do that. And we'll get a blue ball. And that'll work. So we got all those things. Set them there. Alright, they should all be back at the at the shore. Um, I don't know where our guy is. Oh, there he is. Now he's coming in. So he's coming in with this one thing first. And what do we got? So I don't know why he always runs around that way, but he does for whatever reason. Alright, the fire pit. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going crazy. Alright, we're gonna set the fire pit like right here. That'll work. Just kind of right out in the open. So we got a fancy fire pit. Look at us go. And we got these two chaises right here. Nothing looks like it's kind of in line with it, with each other, but it is. Um, got all the dance moves. I'm I'm not sure what to think. I wonder if I can get rid of a couple of these songs. Can I just do this where the only song I have is the... Um, can I get rid of a song? Uh, let's see. Is there a way to get rid of a song? I don't know if we can. I wonder if once you have it, you have it. So I guess we do. So that's fine. Maybe that's why the one song was so cheap is because it's kind of a nuisance. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Uh, possibly. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. So if we go to uh, my beach. So we could jack up the prices of things a little bit more and 520 wow oh yeah growth that's what i want to see popularity uh skills oh we do have another skill point so what do we want to do with another skill point can we do this oh i guess we did so there we go magnet two so i guess we can do that all the way up because if we get all the customers that's nice so there we go and so yeah we'd have to let's see i'm looking at what we need cleanest beach and happiest customers, safest beach, most modern beach, most fun beach. Okay, that's cool. And now we're going to go back here. Okay, so we got 30,000 again. Everyone's dancing. I really should move a couple of these things around. So let's see. Let's grab our hammer and let's do a little bit of editing here. So we're going to take this. We're going to give this a little bit of a spin. I wish I wish they had like a grid, a grid snap on this. And I don't think they do. I don't think I saw anything about that. Then we're going to pick this one up and we're going to, whoop, it can't pick it up because this guy's currently on it. So, okay, you stay there. And I'll actually get a couple more of these just for the fun of it because we might as well. Uh, let's go here, back to the shopping. And we're going to go to, um, one of these days I should get one of those fancy pergolas, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, or should I get a toilet and a shower? Yeah, let's get a toilet and a shower. Let's get one of each of those. Let's get a pebbly toilet because we're into pebbles. And it's a funny word. Oh, shoot. Um, all right. Uh, stick. Where's my stick? All right. Let's go. Run out here. The stick is having lunch on this person. Um, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Don't let the shark kill this person. Get out. Go. Oh. I'm leaving an extra tip for this experience. The, the tip for almost getting eaten by the shark. So that's, I'm glad for that. Uh, thank you very much for the tip for almost getting eaten by a shark. That's kind of nice. I appreciate it. And what do we want to do now? Again, that song is so annoying. Um, it almost makes me want to turn off the 
turn off the music, but you know what? People enjoy dancing, so I'm not going to tell them what they should or shouldn't do. Okay, I was going to get a toilet. I was going to get a shower. That's what I was going to do. So let's get one of each of those. And hopefully this time a shark won't attack the beach again. So a pebbly toilet, and we're going to get a, uh, where was the showers? There it was. A pebbly toilet and a pebbly shower because we're all about pebbly. It is our motif. We, we do love a pebbly. There we go. So that's going to come on in here in a moment. And we will just kind of wait for our UPS guy to show up in red. And once he's here, we will get those set up. There he is. I see him running right now in front of the hostel. And at some point, we will have to kind of take a look around and like walk to the market and all that stuff and see what's there. Um, I don't know how long it takes to get there if you run, but we can certainly check it out at some point and see what it's all about. Okay, so here's our toilet. Here's our shower. Let's get those set up, the pebbly. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it right over here and set it right about there. And then we're going to look at how pebbly that is. And then we're going to get our pebbly toilet and set it right up by our pebbly shower because it's all pebbly. So there we go. All the pebbles. Can we attach them to each other? No. Can we get them to line up with each other a little bit better? Man, that's really, really touchy. There might be a way to get rid of that. I'm wondering. Is there a way to... Uh, I, there might be a setting for that. Let's check the settings again. Uh, sensitivity. That's probably not it. I'm assuming that's like the sensitivity of the, of the camera. Because if I turn that way up, then the set, yeah, so that's that goes like that. And then if I go here and if I turn it way down, then yeah, then that's that. Okay, so that's not what I wanted. So we can set that back kind of in the middle because it's not really impacting anything that we're doing anyway. Okay, look at those lights. Uh, ma'am, you're not on the dance floor. Um, and you're the one who almost drowned. And man, look at your moves. Okay, it was amazing you deserved my tip. Okay, well, I'm glad that you were dancing, even if you weren't dancing on the dance floor. Because you're giving me money, and that's what we want. So, thank you. I will take all the money. Um, I love all the tips. <laughs> Get all of these. And close up our tip box. And now we are done. That is it. Another day comes to an end. We're still sitting on about $28,000. Let's see. I do want to get a couple of chaise lounges. So I'm going to get three more. I might get like two more chaise lounges and then one more of those red beds. So let's do that. Uh, spend a little more money while we can. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to chairs. No, uh, sun beds. Yeah. So a uh, one of these red chaise lounges, two of these blue ones, and then we'll have like three and two. That'll work. Perfect. Um, I'm going to turn off this music. There we go. That's that's going to bug me, and I don't want that. <laughs> There's no one here dancing. I don't need to hear the music. So we're going to turn that off, and we're going to wait for our buddy to show up. Here he comes. He's on his way, running as fast as he can to deliver our chaise lounges, and that is it just our chaise lounges. There was nothing else to say there. So here they come. We'll get these set up. There we go. A blue chaise lounge, which we'll set up right here. And again, so we'll set that right there and we'll get another one. Are you another blue one? You are another blue one. And we will set you up right uh, here um, again. So th will the sensitivity change that at all? I don't know. So we're going to set that up there. And I don't, I wonder, is there a way to snap these to a grid? And I'm just not aware of it. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think so. So we're going to try and make these look a little bit better. Because you know me, I am all about my feng shui. It is always about the feng shui. So there we go. That's better. And let's get this one, our red chaise lounge. We're going to set that up on the other side. And where is the side that has the pillow on it? It's this side. Okay, there we go. And we're going to try and get that set up kind of right there. Because, of course, everyone on the chaise lounges wants to be right by the dance floor. That's obviously the case. But I really don't want to go about moving the dance floor. So we're just going to leave this as it is and not get crazy with it. So, again, is this the head of it? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I believe that's the way it goes. 
And at some point, I will actually get some more sun beds. But right now, we got four and four. We got three fancy chase lounges of the blue variety. We got two fancy chase lounges of the red variety. Got a toilet. We got a uh, close the door. We don't need to see that. Uh, we got a toilet. We got a shower. We've got two happy waiters, one whose arms are a little bit shorter than his. He's got the crazy arms. His are a little more normal. We got Sam, the bartender, who's still smiling. And we've got our bodyguard that never goes home and me holding a hammer all here just another day at the rusty chair. But that is going to be all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. Until we meet again, thank you as always for watching all of my silliness and being a part of it. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.